Welcome to Bizjet TV. My name is Fabrizio Pauli. Today we're going to be talking about value creation of private jets. Uh, this is a subject which is really, really interesting. So we'll be going into some interesting stats about you know companies that actually do operate private jets and who they are, um, what they do, a few numbers on there, um, and sort of help you to understand the, that this is really a strategy tool for your business. And um, hopefully the questions that we'll be answering and the questions we'll be asking in this episode will get you to think in a certain way. Um, there's lots of content on here, uh, over 320 episodes on BizJet TV. So if you're here for the first time, after you've checked this episode out, check the others, there's lots of content here. And if there's anything that we haven't answered uh, in video format, please uh, comment below and uh, or just ping me an email and we can get on a call and see what we can do here. Uh, to help you with your private jet acquisition or lease or whatever it may be. That's all from me on this intro. Let's get straight into the meat of today's episode of value creation of private jets. Off we go. Faster door-to-door -door travel is one of the main reasons why people fly private. And of course, now with all this disruption with this virus out there um, and the airlines, you know, canceling lots of flights last minute, they've never done this before, um, it's creating a lot of disruption. If you have to travel for business, a lot of people have been doing the Zoom calls instead. But, you know, there are situations where, you know, going to visit a client, going to explore an opportunity, um, you know, is always the best thing to do in person. So that's uh, one of the main reasons people choose to buy and invest in a private jet. Um, the ability to react fast and be able to jump on an airplane to bring into action, uh, the increased productivity in flight when you're traveling with just you and your team, uh, that's also another factor which is, which is important. But let's try and uh, look at a few uh, other stats here to help us to understand uh, what value there is there for the, for the shareholders of your company um, in, in having and operating a private jet. Because a lot of people, as soon as they hear, oh, we're gonna buy an airplane, they're immediately, oh, and the CFOs turn around, ah, oh, this is gonna cost us $20 million to buy this thing, $6 million to operate, we only spent 500,000 last year on travel. Um, and so we have to sort of analyze this from, from another perspective. So let's look, for example, 50 of the most innovative companies in the world, uh, out of those 50 uh, most innovative companies, 92% use private jets, 50 of the world's most Admired companies, 98% of those companies actually use private jets. If we look at the 50 best brands in the world, 92% of them use private jets. And now you're thinking, yes, but those are all big companies. Well, interestingly enough, 70% of business jet users are companies with less than 1,000 employees. And if we hone down on that figure, we discover that 59% of uh, companies that use private jets have less than 500 employees so what does that tell you it tells you that you know the companies that are using the private jets are not necessarily the big ones um, it's the smaller ones um, now uh, let's look at another perspective here uh, what you have to think of is how is my business going to grow well how do businesses grow well businesses grow uh, by either developing new products and taking them to market or scaling the products that they already have so the next question is, how can I bring products uh, quicker to market and how can I scale what I've got? What, what can I use from a strategy standpoint to accelerate those things? Uh, well, if you have a private jet, you can go and to, to places a lot quicker to spot the new opportunities, develop the new ideas. Um, once you've got the idea developed into a product, you can then, you have to obviously sell it. Um, again, out you go with your private jet, you can meet people a lot quicker, you can bring clients in to see you, come and visit the factory, um, I'm sending my jet out to pick you up. Um, so from a strategy standpoint, having the private jet is gonna allow you to do all these things a lot quicker, a lot more effectively. Um, and that's what you need to be looking at. Um, and as I always say, you can't really measure this before you go and acquire the private jet. Yes, you've got to have the money there, Okay, but bear in mind that, you know, there's lots of tax benefits as well. You can write off the acquisition of the airplane. You can write off the usage of the airplane. Of course, how you do that will depend which tax jurisdiction you're in. So you need to consult with a, a local aviation tax um, attorney to be able to find out how you're going to do that uh, from a company perspective. But these are all considerations that have to be uh, looked at 
uh, when you're going to be using a private jet. So it really is, if you're going to make this investment, you've got to think of how you're going to use it to be able to accelerate your business, to bring new products to market, to discover new things. Um, and and that's what I, I encourage you to do. And that's why, I've, as I always say, uh, the acquisition of the private jet, the plane itself is only one element. You know, you need good pilots that are gonna fly it well. You need good maintenance so this airplane can be maintained well. It needs to be managed in a certain way so it's always available. Um, even when you do your maintenance, you know, time that in a certain way. You know, these are all aspects that have to be looked at when you're acquiring a, pri acquiring a private jet. Um, it's not just, oh, I bought this nice shiny jet for $25 million. Uh, you, you know, it needs to be done in a certain way because the ultimate uh, uh, objective here is for you to use this as a strategy tool to build your business, m more of a solid business, um, get to market with new products, you know, and scale what you already have. And that's how the private jet is going to be very, very useful for you and your company and bring you lots and lots of success. Now, I want to, in closing, I'd like to sort of, there's a quote here from Warren Buffett, one of the wealthiest people in the world, CEO Berkshire Hathaway, also owns a company called NetJets, which have uh, quite a number of private jets out there. And this is what he said. He said, Berkshire has been better off by having me in a corporate jet available to go and do deals. So that's the question you need to ask yourself. Would your company benefit from having a private jet? How many opportunities could you uh, go for if you had a private jet? And today in, in, in the world of you know the, the virus and you know all the problem with the airlines and lots more airlines uh, are going bust, uh, you know, there are less airline flights available. So you know if you've got the money to buy a private jet, I encourage you to, to make this investment. Uh, but you know there's also the option of leasing a jet for 12 months or 24 months. Um, that also is an option. Uh, as I will say, um, if you want to reach out to me, you can, and I can schedule you in for a strategy call just to find out more about your business and see which airplane would suit your organization and how you could use this to grow your business. Um, as I always say, I can only give out general information here on BizJet TV. If you want to be specific, we need to get specific and one-to-one. -one. Now that's all from me here on this episode. I'd uh, encourage you to subscribe to BizJet TV if you haven't done so already. I like this video, comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And also, you know, check out these other videos on this channel, uh, this one in particular about uh, the new uh, innovation that Goldstream is bringing to the table with their new jets, the Goldstream G500, 600, 700. Check that one out. And that's all from Fabrizio Poli on BizJet TV, and I'll see you on the next one.